advocate for structural changes. And hence, the Better House became the first non governmental organization to teach <coughs> education to Africans in the 1960s. It was also the first national training center for industrialization and trade unions in the context of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights of 1948. Cedar House was one of the few training, the first few training centers to develop a well-defined youth development uh, program. And because of high employment at the time among the youth, Cedar House was drawn to introduce vocational skills training, such as building, blacksmithing, typewriting, what we call commercial schools, bookkeeping, and many other uh, skills that help the unemployed youth to be self-employed or employable in the formal sector. In the 1960s and 1970s, there were several programs that were started at the Bella House, which include uh, some of what I've mentioned here, industrial relations, youth development, but in addition were women empowerment programs. For those of us who are working in the development world, you may like, you may want to hear that Fibra House was one of the first institutions that was very gender sensitive from as early as 1970. Women empowerment uh, programs that specifically targeted the poor and disadvantaged women in the rural areas were started here in Fibra House and they spread out to Mutoko, Murewa, Mondoro and many other places in Zimbabwe. And these initiatives included health, nutrition, hygiene, food security, and sustainable agriculture, among others. And later in the 1980s, 1990s, these women empowerment programs grew to community-based health care, HIV and AIDS education programs, sustainable agriculture, and many other skills that responded to the needs of the women in rural areas and poor urban areas. The list of Sibera House works can fill 20 pages, if not 2,000 pages. But the role of Sibera House was to build the capacity of the poor people, the disadvantaged people, to recognize their human rights and reclaim their human dignity. Over the past 50 years, Sibera House has successfully done this in collaboration with other church and non-church organizations. Special mention deserves uh, the Catholic Commission for Justice and Peace, which worked with Severa House in the 1970s in mobilizing communities in civic education and also providing uh, information to those who were attending the Langest House discussions which led to the independence of Zimbabwe. After independence in 1980, Sidra had to re-strategize in the new independent Zimbabwe. The new government adopted a number of pro-poor uh, policies and strategies, and Sidra House had to gradually uh, withdraw from industrial relations and trade union tra uh, training and many other uh, programs that it was focusing on in the 1970s. It, however, shifted focus to other needed areas, such as rehabilitation programs, new programs focusing on research of sufficient uh, farmers who needed training to be more productive uh, in their farming. The energetic youth needed training in moral discipline and church principles. The newly elected uh, leaders also demanded leadership training Thus, Sibera House remained very needed and relevant after independence in 1980. To date, in 2000, Sibera House still works with the grassroots level, local communities, and community development, peace building, uh, vocational skills training, advocacy and lobbying. We also continue to work with policymakers, government structures, ministries, and local government structures. Uh, district administrators, councillors, and we also work with our traditional leaders, chiefs, headmen, village, village heads, and so forth. Underlying Silver House life and work 
over the past 50 years is the spirit of recognizing the human dignity of the disadvantaged and the spirit of bringing together policymakers of the grassroots level. Thank you very much.
let you know some of the things which took, took place in my area. Mbire being a district which was established on the 6th of July 2006, we got incredible paper of the FBC rewards to be trained in the surveyor house staff. After council had submitted a list of words to be to the staff to be implemented. The words are as follows, word one, Kanyeba, word three, Kanomo, four, Bonomo, six, which is in the soil in which I belong, what twelve, Kappa, fourteen, Masome, fifteen, my word. Let us look what we are in the leadership skills, community development trainings, communication skills, to mention a few. In August 2013, Ward 4, 6, and 14 were invited to come to this training center for TOT, which is the training of trainers. We are sure each ward spent five days being here, having 35 participants per each ward. In November 2018, 12 members were driven to Kairis in Ward 23, Mizalabani, RDC. Six members were from Ward 6, and the other six from Ward 4, Bolon. Since these trainings, each ward uh, in which the warehouse staff are operating, so many various projects in Arisi, namely in Ward 1, 1, Nutrition Garden, in Ward 3, a normal good keeping project, in Ward 4, Nutrition Garden, in Ward 6, Small Irrigation Scheme uh, Project, in Ward 12, Dress Making Project, in Ward 14, Carpentry Project, in Ward 15, Working Project. All these projects which I have mentioned are flourishing very well. Lastly, we thank Father John Dow for this unforgettable unique initiative. I thank you. All protocol observed. As I come from Mato, uh, it is another district which is participating in the programs from Silvero. And uh, the community has been trained in the following in leather making, welding, welcome, cloth sewing, and many more. We have realized that some are even making hot strong cloth. So the community is no longer going to urban areas to buy hot strong cloth. They are made locally. We have noted that <coughs> there are many challenges, especially as the council. But when these SMEs start, especially the levies which are being imposed or charged by the council, sometimes become so exorbitant that they cannot even manage to do so. So what we have done, we are now formulating a policy whereby we will exempt a certain levels so that they can start without a problem. Silvera also have reduced the illegal cross spotting cross <coughs> sorry border jumpers because we are bordering Botswana and South Africa. So now the youth are engaged in doing something which is very productive. And also, they are being kept in doing these activities. And a mitigation of this HIV spread is being taken for. We also encourage and <coughs> so there are to come to bring more resources, if possible, so that we can harness or capture as many youth as possible. Finally, uh, the problem we are encountering is that our youth have got a tendency of expecting much more bigger resources, not appreciating that mustard seed resource to grow to a bigger thing. Thank you very much. <laughs>
school vila mna 2011 tishita ma workshop ya mapis building na abo tishizizi kwa kuziva kutitisaite milisho nga mkatme jungo zedu tishikusha anga shakanaka kuwa mna 2013 tabaini ma work plans akati kuti ataita tishitunga milu wanaobe silivera house yes yes ma wadza mti wadi 27 ni wadi 13 ya wadi kusha anga kusha ba district Mani mapa sa ebu dilo akati kuti atu kuita kuti kizwa le ba ukisho kwa ruti chisa kuwa di twenty seven kuna ma projects akati kuti emanyo tuchesh garden kuna kufuwa shakare uku nembu uzi kuwa di thirteen kuna ma projects ma mchete wa yote kufuwa ma road runa tini kufuwa shakare nembu uzi tini emanyo tuchesh garden shakare uyeje tini kuchera mbora juwe bi yaka oma tia kwa sababu tuchera ma sime. Atukuchera kutukua na kushanza mwee pasi. Tishishanda shakare na ho. Tishizidza shakare kuchengete za shuwani kwa shuwani. Magade ni ee kutakane kushanza miti ni uskwa. Yeshu kutaka kushanza waya. Ne kutuni masime kushanza shudina. Atishanza mapango ya kutumusaiti mafu mkati ni mvula. Saka atukushanda shakanaka shujinji ni mesti vera hausi. Kwa shitizidza mapasa ema oko. Kwa di teti ni shakare. Seja mambo zao shinzi vatu, simu zila shakare, simu zila mazimai. Hichi village, mambo na village 15 ati inao, village rega rega ni SSG, ya tuwe self-help group, ya mazimai. Ya chuku ita ama kuseba mazi zedu, chishizo, chitizo, zishari sama basa ebiye maoko. Ndilo kwa kutenda, shinji na isho shosha, tuku basi kwa nesi, kinele si mbera hausi. Ndishipa shakare kutenda mwea, kwe baka shanda wami katumye jumbo ilo, wakutitipo simu zirana, muma basa ebiye maoko, muru nyayano na mbu ziza. Jikumbira shakare, kutipa pashpa mila mepe basa ilo rivi. Daiba weze na maprojekti, avaru kutibasira na au, mruzivo, nesu kushandisa, mma projekti, edie maoku, kunyaya kumazimaya anima SSG. Kutipa kupanza kuzira kushandisa matizao shakanaka, daiba kuseba. Na ewa ni masho manana ntroti, nda tete. Thank you. So, for those of us here present, who do not understand Shona, uh, in brief, she said um, they've benefited a lot from uh, the trainings they received from Suvera House, especially in peace building. So if you go to Shamba, it is now a very safe place to go. They've managed to establish peace committees as a result of the training they received from Suvera House. Apart from that, uh, they've also established saving clubs. So I think if you give them a hair or two, you go to Shamba, be rest assured that uh, you will see a bank registered in their name. Thank you. Good morning to you all. My name is Mrs. Chikomo. I am from, from Togo district. I also represent the Togo Natural Resources Lobby Group communities facing several challenges due to the granite mining activities going on. Thanks to Silvera House advocates and lobby trainings, we are now able to express our concerns to, the, to engage relevant authorities for assistance. So far, we have together with mining communities in Mwange presented our ch challenges to the Ministry of Mines and Mining Development. We are lobbying mining companies to contribute towards infrastructure development through social corporate responsibility. A classroom block has been built in Chindenga and in Nyamtsawuni, what the road is being repaired through our efforts. These are just a few examples of what we are doing as a lobby group. Thank you. 1962, Baba, 
Hasika, chawaka siya tisho chikuru. Yakuti, ayo mama sa awa waka siya. Tiwa wateke shere. Tiwa wateke shere. Baka gana pasi, zong penegura, hino shora mani, doku wana kuti. Kuna luku chapter 4, pa verse 18, doku uti. Where are your tents? Kuni. Haka nizota kutitipa niziri. Mpo, zong usi nizwa kwao. Vakwe, zong usi nizwa kwao. Vaka tapwa. Zong usi nizwa kwao. Ayo waka. Kana zong usi nizwa kwao. Tua ti, wani wati tranyo asha. Hasi waka puto waka tukwa mapofundi api. Shika tukwa pofu tisu. Tisinga wane. Rue nzani iso. Tisu, tisinga wane ukari. Tisu, tisinga ziri. Chino tukwa ni rabe njivu. Vakwele, tukwa wane. Vomufungo, vomunyama. Pangwele, pangwele. Hasi kana suno hezo. Wani kula apwa. Na iyo hi, suvera hausi. Sacha pezi waka kana pansi. Doku retemba. Doku kumbina wakati. Ndiko mwanele, mutapa nuzi mikano yao. Yeso nasi, mikano ya enza. Haisi mwana chete, haisi mwana mziba pechete. Hasi pasirose, suvera hausi, wame kuiziwa. No kudaro, no kudaro. Ndi batire imo kutere. Ndi batire imo kutere. Aka kuhuta akati, kama mwoba kaniki, kana mweta mabaira niki chete ndiani. Kana mwoba mudoko, uno kwa nisa kubuliza, mabaira hobe. Aishi ziwa kuti ndiani, pata hili ilapaya, mwoba kore hodu. Si uvera hausi ya kwa wani kwa hili ipu. Tika mapuza, wano kuhuta hili. Kana wamune, wako fumura nifana. Hamatangu, tina zamu fara. Vashi jicho se, vakadi arigani pano, vano sanga disira. Kama watangu na. Tuta isa, vice, vakama presidenti, vachi lumba, pasa pia, vano pasi vapa. Ose aya, baba amatangu, dibatire ibuche. Kupa shiti zonde shipi, vano unta udiriro, unara unta. Vano unza, rutfisiso, onwe lukare. Vano unza, kubatana, mukatime wano. Hezo nasi, ibarra manwa, tishipembera, tishifara, tishuombera, tishitika ni. Shaka itwa, pano pasufera hausi. Kasho nambe shuchende ramberi, nemberi, nemberi. Kutama na tati, tesu taenda, kukare, kusika peri. Kuchifa pano, dinoti, dibatire kutenya. Thank you. Magadi. <laughs> 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 Ah, andi, anda betul betul jauh dah. Isu susu cina batera macam, cuma cerita orang cuma ni, cuma polis cuma batera macam. Batera cai itu kan, itu kita pasal batera itu ada esok. Cai itu di kredit kita boleh bagi nak cerita orang cerita dah. Cai itu ada uang itu ada nak cuma nak cuma ni ambil apa? Batera itu cuma pay three bucks, kena two bucks macam. Saya batera gas, cuci esok dia dah usir awak ya. Oti zisa, chagua zisikuwa kuzuia zina maowe dunia sini yacho, chagua zisikuwa chagua pizza, chagua zisikuwa kuwe dunia kwacho, chini ni sifa maowe zuri chagua pizza, tavu zikuona kuzuia zuri zina chagua maowe, nuko zuri zina maowe dunia pizza umbra mna sambis, amenu chukure kwa kaita si, kwa rwandu kita mungu chete zaidi leo, na rara mbazi amenu na kugira ni slow pasi chukua huo. Nak kau mak sena na, saya kure muntuk binga itu uang mak tu zaman tu susu, tapi awak asyik, ipa pun dia nampak tu tenda cair susu, lebih cenderung pun dia orang tinggal tu orang dari rumah. Saya kau pasti lo segari ni aku, ni lopin. Eh, 
Matanya na wala ida sana pax ni mamu matpati na kwaanda wanda. Ndiyo sana wakutaisha na tsinga sivi. Sijini juu yangu tsigi la wili. Tayo na tsigi waka na tayo na kusa silogi. Mati pata kasi tiziswa. Taka sio kwanza pina ma ops. Sinia sote au dada na abu. Tisho ni sana. Kusiga taka sio anunga mungu zaidi. Ah, kuarare kana kuna minute kumne. Kwa pata na tisiga la pasi na minute atukurukura. Kusiga ah, tisi sana pani ya imala isinzeru. Taisha juu imala isinzai ipoto na nato rai bo. Two thousand five hundred. Pata la license ni kutu pini mungu. Saka isusu zaidi tumia. Saka tana zisikia taka kwanza kupina mbona kukula na au kusikia mbote tikisi ya wajibiso ma 500 tipapu ati tikisa kita olirani Kiso zikuti wa wanduku kita jati ni msangani kukumiri la Zimbabwe ni Zambia ni maa usumu Zambiki ni maa muma kanti za kawanda wakaipa Sieta kuhoba mti nishinage na zambia simumu Zikuti wa taka zisikia wajatoka kutuzo wajatoka kato wangi sa zikuti Ni mfaru kuti wakawaya wewe binga na yapa kati zetu tangu kuti wauye kani mboma zetu nusu tamai wako tika tamai fa fa mbisi mumu mbisi mbisi na saka ndiyo la kawanda nusu na nusu tangu iwayo thank you so much ah in short you was just saying he represents ah all fishing cooperatives in Pinga, and the cooperatives were trained by Silvera House uh, in lobby and advocacy. And for that reason, uh, he professed that he didn't know the face of the minister, but because of the training he received from Silvera House, he managed not only to enter his office, but to talk to him face to face. So they are very grateful because of uh, what Suvera House did. Um, let me once again also say, for those who might need carpenter fish, like I've said before, talk to him nicely. They can as well deliver to your doorsteps in any part of Zimbabwe because of the training they received from Suvera House.
and we can, and when we have time, we can go and see what has been made. There is only one thing that was made, and I would like the NEC MC to give us an opportunity to, to, to display that. My wife and I are celebrating 40 years of marriage today. We got married because we met in Silvera House. <laughs> Speakers have told us about Father Dam, I would not dwell a lot about it. Father Dam had a vision, and he had a worry in his mind. He wanted to give information and courage to people to be able to question and challenge. He wanted people to question and challenge. Why is this thing done by Mr. or Mrs. so-and-so, and not I? Why can't I do it? He wanted people who live the poor to say, why are we poor? Can we change this poverty in our midst? For the devil wanted people to say, why are we oppressed? Why are we oppressed? The lectures given, people then begin to ask these questions. Why are we living as we do? Is there anything that we can do? In order to bring this realization, Father, in his meetings in Highfield, noted a few people whom he thought had the gifts and the intellect as well as the commitment to work with him. And these few people are Tom Zawaira. Tom Zawaira became a politician, and a very successful politician, a mayor of Mashimo. He was here. Father Dow said, I want you to come and work with me. Zawaira accepted. The next person was Augustine Mushkambizi, a shrewd businessman. <laughs> he was the MD for Airzim. I don't know whether his shrewdness avoided strike, I don't know about that. <laughs> but he was a successful man. And then included Edward Mchenji, who worked almost all his life here at Cervera House. He was a senior agricultural or trade union promoter. Soft-spoken gentleman who could go in the industry and speak to the volatile workers. Edward had that, had that gift to allure people to come for lectures here. Then there was Sebastian Zuse. He was a businessman in Marondera. Quiet someone, but very effective. Then last but not least, there was Christopher Gabasa. <laughs> this is this man who is talking to you. <laughs> Chris Gabasa was an industrial, industrial consultant. He worked, he lived in Eiffel. Knew a lot of politicians. I knew them well. Across the politi political parties, I had contacts with them all, and I accepted to come and work with Father Dab. Father Dab did not have a formal way of interviewing us. <laughs> he had his manner. Of, he called you in his office, the two of you would be talking about the problems that he saw. And he would say, do you think you can join me? It was very convincing what he said. And we were summoned here together to talk. And he said, I want you to be my team. We all accepted. There were no job descriptions for us. <laughs> no letters of appointment. You accepted in his office and that was it. If you had problems, you would go to him and say, Father, I'm not sure about this. He would say, look, 
I brought you here and you would understand things. So I want an answer. There was no transport provided because these days when people are employed, one of the things is, is there a car for me? How do I travel? Not with us. Our situation was just to accept. We found our own way here to Silvera House. How you came if you flew, that was your business, but you had to be here. It was voluntary, but we enjoyed it. We enjoyed the challenges that we met. Father Dab never gave you a formula of how to operate. You had to do it yourself. We had to meet among ourselves and talk about the challenges we saw. Trade unions, Edward would call the meetings and we would talk. Civics. I was in charge of civics. For the Dow said, we have problems. Who can you organize the politicians? They all said, ah, because I was the youngest. Chris can do it. He has got a lot of energy. I said, oh, what energy are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> to be beaten. <laughs> <laughs> right? I accepted the challenge. I went to meet all political leaders, individually in their offices, talking to them about Silvera House, what Silvera House can offer because there were rives between people were fighting because of their convictions in politics. Once I convinced these people, I would invite them. I, we were inviting all the politicians to come here jointly for a weekend, and there was no fight. Brother, father, that time he was brother. Father Mkonori can bear me with that. We used to meet with them, and Sister Angelina here. It was difficult, but it was very successful because people could, could talk. Then there was a, a wine extension officer called White Spanner. He was Irish. We used to call him Black Spanner.